Descriptive research is a research method focused on describing characteristics of a population, phenomenon, or situation. Unlike experimental research, it doesn't seek to determine cause and effect, but rather aims to provide a detailed, factual account of a subject. It simply provides a clear snapshot of a situation as it exists naturally. This method is often used when researchers want to gather information about a particular topic without making predictions or manipulating variables. Now let's look at some examples to illustrate this. Imagine a researcher conducting a study on the eating habits of teenagers. Instead of testing any interventions or controlling variables, the researcher might simply distribute a survey asking teenagers about what they typically eat, how often they eat certain foods, and where they get their meals. This provides a comprehensive overview of teenage eating behaviours without attempting to influence them. Another example could be a survey on customer satisfaction at a shopping mall. The researcher might collect data on factors like the overall shopping experience, the availability of products and the friendliness of staff. The goal is not to test any specific variables, but to describe how satisfied customers are with their experience at the mall. In both cases, descriptive research is used to gather detailed information about a population or situation without aiming to test cause and effect relationships. Now let's look at some strengths of descriptive research. One strength is that it provides a detailed and accurate account of a subject. By gathering data from a large number of participants or observing a phenomenon closely, researchers can develop a clear and comprehensive picture of the situation as it is. This makes descriptive research particularly useful for understanding new or underexplored topics. Another strength is that it's flexible and easy to implement. Descriptive research often uses surveys, questionnaires, or observational methods that are relatively simple to set up. This allows researchers to gather large amounts of data efficiently, which can be analysed to find patterns or trends. However, descriptive research is not without its criticisms. One criticism is that it doesn't establish cause and effect, because descriptive research focuses only on observation and description. It can't explain why certain behaviours or trends occur. This limits its ability to provide deeper insights into the reasons behind the findings. Another criticism is that it can be vulnerable to bias, since descriptive research relies heavily on self-reported data, such as surveys or questionnaires. Participants may provide inaccurate or biased responses. Additionally, the researcher's interpretation of observations can sometimes introduce bias into the study affecting the reliability of the results. For a detailed written introduction to the topic of descriptive research, have a look at my article in the pinned comment. To learn about other research methods, check out the videos on the screen.